So for the past decade, I've been blessed with lots of opportunities to not only use many different camera systems personally, whether it be Sony, Canon, uh, Nikon, uh, Fujifilm, Leica, whatever it is, but also use them in the field for assignments and professional gigs, whether it's gear that I rented, been on, uh, given on loan, or just gear that myself I have purchased outright. I've been able to get a feel for a lot of different camera systems, not only what they provide when it comes to performance, but also what they provide when it comes to feel and when it comes to, you know, making you want to go out and shoot. And whenever it comes to those things, I don't think we can ignore the latter just because the former is so impressive. A lot of times we end up with these large clunky cameras or these cameras that have amazing specs, but whenever it comes to our love of photography, we don't really do much to cultivate that beyond work, work, and work. And to me, that is a simple reason why I personally believe, and I come back to these cameras every single time, whenever I'm not shooting with this camera brand, if I'm shooting with Leica, Canon, Nikon, whatever it is, I end up always coming back to this one realization. I believe that every single photographer should own, try, rent some sort of Fujifilm camera for an extended period of time. And let me tell you why. So it's officially 2023, which means new year, new me, same old, same old, but now new wardrobe. I'm excited to announce that I am officially a cuts ambassador and this is huge for me this is an exciting announcement for me not only because of them choosing to back me as a personality and this channel but also i just really love cuts and their clothing cuts clothing has become an essential part of my wardrobe whether it's me feeling confident in any kind of casual outing knowing that i'm dressed appropriately for the situation or it's me going into work with their amazing polo tees and their brand new AO pants and making sure that I'm making a statement and I'm also feeling good, looking good. Cuts has done an amazing job at revolutionizing my wardrobe with some great, durable, and fantastic feeling clothing. This Cuts ambassadorship is a huge deal to me, not only because I believe in the product, love the way that it looks, love the way the material feels, but also because I know this means that I get to pass on this amazing opportunity to you guys. You can go and check out Cuts online and use the promo code DROSAPHOTO in order to get a discount on your next order. That's DROSAPHOTO and get yourself a discount so you can start looking good and changing your wardrobe game in 2023 as well. Thank you to Cuts for this amazing opportunity and I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this opportunity to save some cash on some new clothes. So there are three main reasons why I believe that every single photographer should own a Fujifilm camera at least once in their life. And, and before you guys start saying, well, yeah, you're a Fujifilm fanboy, you guys, I've shot with almost every single camera brand that there is known to man. I'm shooting Leica currently. I've shot Canon, not only flagship DSLR and mirrorless, but also their cinema cameras, C300s. I've shot on Nikon before. I have shot Olympus. I mean, I have even shot multiple APS-C cameras from other manufacturers. This isn't because I'm a Fujifilm fanboy. This is because I sincerely believe that there is something to get out of owning one of these cameras. The first reason that I wanna bring up is the fact that when you get one of these cameras, you're gonna to wanna to take it everywhere. You see, one of the things that I did not like whenever I was shooting with Canon, with the EOS R, with the 5D Mark III, with the 1DX, or even with my Sony's with the a7 III, an A9, even my A6400 whenever it came to the bodies and the lenses. I don't even care if it's my Leica Q. Sometimes the cameras just felt out of place because of the size. But that's one of the amazing things about Fujifilm. Um, when it comes to their camera bodies and their fixed lens systems like this X70 here, they always do a fantastic job of making sure the camera has amazing quality, meaning image, build, every single thing across the line whenever they release a general generation of sensors, but also they do a great job of making sure the size is small enough 
to where you're going to want to think about this and have this in your pocket. Fujifilm's got many examples of this from the X100 line, the XE line, the XT10, 20, and 30, the X70, and the XF10, the even the XA line from Fujifilm. They always do a fantastic job of prioritizing the size in their system for the most part above so many other things. And the fantastic part about it is when you have this small size, you're not sacrificing image quality, you're not sacrificing performance, you're still getting top of the line specs even in their smaller bodies with no excuses made. You couple that with the fact that whether it's their fixed lens system or their interchangeable lens system, Fujifilm has relatively small and light lenses. If you were to look up a table of Fujifilm lenses and their F2s and their F1.4s, you'd be able to find if you're the kind of person that wants a faster lens because of low light capability, guess what? You're not only be able to find a lens that will be able to suit you just for that, but it's going to be a light ass lens. That's a huge deal when it comes to wanting to carry something all the time. Even more when it comes to pairing it with a small body, again, you're getting some of the best glass ever. This is something that I truly 100% believe. There is a top three for me when it comes to glass manufacturers, period. And that would go Leica, Zeiss, and Fujifilm. There's nothing better than having a camera you can carry around with you that doesn't doesn't sacrifice on image quality. The second reason, which I'm sure a lot of people were already waiting for, is Fujifilm's fantastic color profiles, and even more than that, their manufacturer support and their community support for custom film simulations. You guys, Fujifilm has one of the best communities in the world whenever it comes to this specifically. They are fantastic about coming up with creative new ways to take fantastic images with your camera, straight out of camera, JPEG. And it's something that I truly do enjoy. Being able to take an image that you love and transfer it right from here to your phone and not even have to worry about editing because you've already done the edit in camera, is amazing. Fujifilm, whether it's just the manufacturer themselves giving you options to add grain to your images in your JPEGs, being able to add a color chrome effect in your images, being able to um, have different types of film simulations or emulations, whether it's uh, Acros, Monochrome, Classic Chrome, which a lot of people think is a Kodachrome knockoff, uh, so many things, Provia, Astia, Eterna Profile. This is a camera that you will have fun with because not every single image will look the same depending on how you want them to look. And even more than that, the community support and being able to help you build different color film simulations or even black and white film simulations is fantastic. They have simulations for Portrait 400, for Kodachrome. They have simulations for Fuji Superior 800, simulations for T-Max 400. They have simulations for Ilford HP5 push two stops. There is so much that you can do with these cameras. The creative options are endless. And let me tell you, the colors coming out of this and the JPEGs coming out of this, especially when you tune it to your liking, are some of the best things ever. Not only that, when you're taking an image, you're taking it in raw, if you don't like the way the JPEG looked whenever you first took it, maybe you want a black and white portion. Maybe you want to put it in classic chrome. You can still make your image edits inside here with their raw editor built into the camera. Couple that again with the fact that these sensors were built, number one, to emulate better the colors that came from film stocks of old and also give you a sharp, crisp image coming from this APS-C sensor. So whenever you take your photos with these, you're not sacrificing on anything. You're able to continue to have fantastic images straight out of camera, still edit your raw, but you're able to have fun and sometimes not even worry about if you even need the raw at all, and you can just shoot these completely JPEG if you want a full filmish experience. So I saved the best for last on my reasoning why every single photographer should own at least one of these cameras once in their life for an extended period of time. And the reason is that it's a camera that helps you not take yourself too seriously. And I don't mean that because this isn't a serious camera. The image quality out of all of these cameras, no matter which one you get, are fantastic and on par with almost anything around the same generation you can have in full frame. The lens assortments are great. They're in the top three for me from lens manufacturers. Um, the autofocus, the little things that are built in with the performance wise, they're going to uh, stand up to anything that you're doing. They're great, fantastic, professional cameras, every single one of them. But when you have one of these in your hand and you're able to have something, a tool that's designated for you to enjoy, it doesn't have to be just something you carry along to work and now you put it down at home because you're tired of looking at it. You've been holding it all day. When it's something like this, it doesn't even have to be their smallest cameras. It could always be something like even an X-T3, an X-T2, an X-T1, an X-Pro line of body. 
these cameras just have a certain thing about them that help center you and remember that you don't have to take yourself too seriously every day and that photography first and foremost is fun. One of the hardest things for us to do as photographers is to be able to take a step back and say, I need a break. A lot of times we feel like this overwhelming pressure to, I haven't shot in a couple weeks, I need to go out. I haven't shot a portrait, I need to schedule a studio session. All these things, or this overwhelming feeling of, I've got a job this day, I've gotta have these edits finished by this day, I've gotta have this set up by this day, and I've gotta put in bids to be able to get accepted for uh, my offers accepted so I can pay bills on this day. There's so much pressure in the creative landscape right now that I really think that people overlook that part of photography. And again, and when you have a camera like this, whether it's big, small, whatever, something that is easy to take with you and that you'll want to carry because of the size, something that has amazing image quality and that is fun and you can be creative with from building film simulations, working with the color profiles and being able to pass this off to different people and then being able to enjoy the images as soon as you take them. Something like this that takes the pressure off to where it's a camera maybe separate from your everyday camera, from your work camera, a camera that you know you're taking because this is designated for family time, a camera that you know isn't necessarily needing to be shot but is always going to be there. This is something that I think every photographer needs. And I know there's a lot of cameras out there, a lot of camera manufacturers, and a lot of you are going to say, this is why I choose a Lumix 100 X567. This is why I choose the Nikon Coolpix A. This is why I choose the Canon GFX. I get it. You guys have your favorite cameras. I get it. You guys shoot different camera manufacturers. That's great. But those cameras don't offer every single thing that I mentioned that these Fujifilm cameras offer all in one bundle, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter whatever they are. So to me, every single photographer should take a chance. Go ahead and plunge in and get yourself at least one Fujifilm camera, whether rented, bought, loaned for an extended period of time. You, your mind, and your creativity will absolutely thank you. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take it light, but take it. Have a good one.